is when you're only an hour different from a person because <laughs> then you're like oh is it your 12 or my 12 are you ahead are you behind <laughs> it's yeah that one's annoying <laughs> yeah yeah so i guess welcome to i don't know what i'm calling this I don't want to call it the reunion special, but also, I don't know, I guess the commentary edition of On Film and Cooking with Kyle Alex. <laughs> Sounds good. On Film and it on On Film and oh, Cooking with Kyle and Alex <laughs> with Sean and Michael. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> nice. All righty. Uh, so, Sean, you said you can only do about an hour today. Yeah, let's keep it to that. Okay, so do you want to? We'll do a few episodes and then maybe gather next week and do a few more. Okay, sure, sure. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> work our way through all eight, which is two and a half hours. We made two and a half hours of content with this. Oh wow! So the idea all of, is it, we... all of it improvised. <laughs> the idea is we are listening to the ones we had done and we're commenting them. Yeah, I'm chatting about it. Okay. Cool. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Yeah. Okay, you both ready? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. All righty. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the debut episode of On Film and Cooking with Kyle and Alex. Uh, hello. I'm your host, uh, Kyle Hayes. I'm Alex Crawford. And, uh, okay. You welcome, sound Alex. unsure of who you are. And, uh, we're going to talk to you today about, you know, um, some of our favorite films, our mutual love in films. Occasionally, we'll have an episode where Alex features a recipe or gives a restaurant review. Well, well, occasionally. Meanwhile, maybe even um, a little bit of cooking each cooking. episode. Yeah, sure. If, yeah. I mean, if we have time, why not? The, uh, okay, well, the well, sort well. of tension is already present, even just with the title, film and cooking, um, that we couldn't decide between so, us. Yeah, I guess yeah. we'll just give a little bit of an intro. Uh, I feel like ourselves. that title is decided by like I'm Kyle. Kyle um, is just like, let's do a podcast, like on film. What? And then yeah. I was like, well, oh, why am I there then if it's just on yeah. film? Like, well, <laughs> Great time. maybe, yeah. I don't know, you like cooking, right? Uh, maybe you could do some cooking or something. <laughs> kind of a, yeah. kind of an awkward story, right? Yeah. But uh, basically, you know, there was this, there was this uh, girl, uh, Katie. Yeah, I remember her. Yeah, I had her. She was in my science class. She was really Good fun. Katie. We ended up sitting at the same table. Got along really well. Yeah. Well, well I don't know. There was a time where, <laughs> you know, I thought she was. You gave us some. She was. She was kind of into me. I think. Files that time. to follow or something. Like that. Made, made you think that? I was just <laughs> sort of this. You give us. I forget if you gave us some the followers or if you're just making sort of this connection really. between us. Yeah, I gave an outline with points to hit. Where like this episode's got to hit like this point, this point, this point, this point, this point, and then right. you both just filled in the blanks head. and did it amazingly well, and in a way I, I did not. Now, but I, <laughs> yeah, yeah. What? Episode three comes to mind where I had to leave the room. Great ten. I like that we're establishing the kind of lore of their backstory and as well. There's a yeah. okay. there's well, a the sort of love triangle really established, which really, obviously becomes you know, kind of a recurring a theme for these characters. Uh, our mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it really does. People, I hadn't really, really thought of it that way, but yeah, it happens again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> stuff like that. I didn't give myself any kind of ideas. Yeah, yeah. Well, I never really went out with her either. I mean, I probably. <laughs> I probably could have, but then maybe not so much of a love triangle. Well, I did go up a broken, a broken triangle. I did. I mean, we didn't, you know, just like broadcast. Almost all the lines right, are there. We went to a movie. I mean, that's the first time there was some. Oh, but I could have gone out with her. Well, it I did go out with her. I think you've told me this story. Well, then. probably. I don't remember where I was, but yeah. It's but also then, funny then, that the characters like, in their uh, story are airing all this out for the viewers. Mm -hmm. The first couple minutes of their first no, podcast. Um, yeah, I, I know you didn't necessarily know about just get that. It at, but, like uh, it really sets yeah. the tone for what this is going to be like. Jealous. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, you and I and other few other people in our friends group like we used to go to the movies all the time. There we are. Tuesday That's night. the on film. Yeah. Part. Tuesday. Talking about one of the movies on the Tuesday night. night. Yeah. Um, Five dollars. It's now seven with inflation. Yeah. 
I don't know. I'm I surprised that, that even Cheat Night exists still. The more that I got to... It is a little bit. I'm around Katie. Well, I was just at a cinema yesterday, though, and they said that they they had her. suspended their mm -hmm. cheap nights, or yeah, just, even the matinee prices and stuff like, during the pandemic, yeah, and they haven't just really that, all that decent mm -hmm. Enough people are going to movies because, because we're still in the middle of a pandemic. Mm -hmm. And there is a cheap night at a at a popular chain, but it has slightly way. increased. Like, it's still relatively cheap compared to the other prices, it but it way. is. Yeah, it has. They well, have to bump it up a few bucks. Um, <laughs> seven dollars feels well, like when I found out that nothing um, for me, I'm totally good with paying seven dollars <laughs> for a movie. Yeah, yeah. Okay, having. Potential relationship. But I do remember when it was literally Tooney Tuesdays. I, I, I don't know. Like, I mean, I have a visual image of this didn't, poster. I'm not interested Home anymore Park at some point. And then I saw right. that uh, I started talking Tuesdays. to you one day in the hall. Yeah, yeah, that used to be what it was. That's what I really for, think um, she was. The cheap her. cinema she was in my hometown. She was right. Mm -hmm. in Those days to compete with uh, she, you know, she the other big cheap bank. So they had to do like Tooney Tuesday. Or something. Like, I don't know what she wanted. There's actually a drive-in in, in the little community I'm living in up here. Or a relationship I don't know. Or anything. I, seem to just, I'm excited about a drive-in you know, at all. I don't know if that's a like, I mean, well, yeah, then meaning the battery of the you car and, I and there not that much, but I mean, yeah, yeah, possibly having to sit outside and like, bug and stuff, how much, how well do you hear it, how come we see her down the hall. Yeah. Although as a Some kid, I have guy. lovely, you know, nostalgic yeah, I mean, memories of whatever. Guys. She's probably just right. talking to them. We're, we might yeah. be seeing more into it than there is. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was it was high school. It was a different time. We're all so silly and yeah. so stupid then. But, They're still going on about so this girl. Clearly, clearly, laugh, <laughs> clearly yeah. one of them has not let this yeah, drop. Yeah, sort of, uh, you know, formed our resolve over just. <laughs> just know, goes on and on. Situation a bit, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Forty <laughs> minutes uh, later. We both had our feelings hurt in the same way. And well, they're sharing over the fact that they are both. That there's something to. Uh, sure. There's something I love. To be mind out of I, I I love Alex's thing oh, on like yeah, they talk about like friendships like formed a, over the over trauma and not to last. Survival situation. But, you uh, don't um, say. Tense, oh. incredible. I'm not not incredible, <laughs> but um, trying situation emotionally for young people at that time, and mm -hmm. we got through it together on some level. And, yeah, yeah. They say that relationships like that don't last. Like, no. like when, because that was the same time that we touched our time with. That they movie. wouldn't. Yeah, we speak. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We both really liked it, but oh, it's man. true that Sandra Bullock. Foreshadowing. Says, she says to him at the end of the movie, you know, relationships. Speed in, uh, absolutely still rules to this yeah. day. That mm -hmm. movie is oh, man, awesome. Is I watched it is maybe about a year ago. I've actually never seen the sequel though. When we were still I locked down, and movie. man, that movie is yeah. awesome. Mm. Is that a that might have been the director. I haven't watched that movie in a long time. I don't remember. I don't know, Re but I'm it's cool. worth it. Revisit, revisit it. Yeah, it's like, it's it is the, the perfect character. amount of like yeah, kind of yeah. zany 90s That's kind of fun. Really. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, and it's also yeah. funny to see yeah, movies from that period kind of when good. you think about the absence <laughs> of obviously the graphics and where the computer graphics were at and stuff like so, that. Yeah. And the actual that stunts. Yeah. Relationship. I watched a teensy right. bit of uh, the like Tobey Maguire that? Spider Man Nothing. two yeah. and three. Two. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's interesting. Well, one, diversity. Is, similar kind like, of familiar. Black Lives Matter is so yeah, right. Sort of. Because it's just slews of white males. And, and Mary Jane, like, literally, she picks up a stick to maybe hit the villain at one point and then just gets wiped, knocked down. My ex, Roxanne. So there was, like, no agents whatsoever for her. Mm -hmm. literally nope. walk out on me but it was compared to sam yeah. raimi now doing um multiverse of madness of course which i think yeah. is yeah. Some much more positive steps yeah how long have you guys been been just saw there? that like we went out for six not that long ago months, and i feel like it was mm -hmm. so good you know that's yeah, not that really fun but, yeah and I, and I didn't realize that he i guess danny long elfman's long. been with him for should probably be quite a while yeah, not evil dead They've worked together in quite a few films, yeah. Yeah, I mean, a relationship can break up at any time, I guess. I mean, I don't know. To some degree, having been together for X amount of time, the longer the time together, maybe the less likely that it comes apart. But I mean, of course, we know that. Seems like we were keeping a pretty solid flow of logging through the time. She wasn't willing to communicate with me. Her the people who were there for the film and the cooking must think they clicked on the wrong thing at this point. <laughs> Or, I mean, not yeah, 
Absolutely. It's still get like I don't know. The podcast still gets uh, listened to. I guess we're yeah. every week. Like, <laughs> well, no, but it, it does seem like people want to hear people talking. A good partner to me. Mm-hmm. Like whatever they're saying. Like, have you heard of this? I don't know. I just heard about yeah. this on uh, a radio yeah. show talking about yeah, it. I don't so understand. I haven't heard it, it but it's easy thing for something called Your Proud Dad or something like that. To her. And it's and a TikTok male man oh. who just like talks oh. to you like, wow, you did so good on really soccer practice was, today. So that's mm. easier, like encouraging me. dad or something. Why that's right. it. Yeah, yeah. 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 More resolvable. I like that. That seems like you know, how did it happen? We need that's more things like that. Moment. Yeah, that seems like good kind of wholesome content that people should have access to. But apparently people write them saying like, Oh god, I wish you were my dad. I want, I want you to be my spending dad. a lot of time together. No. No, no, your dad, even if he isn't perfect, you know, one day. Some people have really terrible parents, though. So. Just kind of. Yeah. So I think the the option to have access to something like that. A little is, too friendly with some of my <laughs> friends, and she's like. Oh my God, though. But, I mean, like he's doing it at some on some level for the cash. Too, uh, so does that make it a form of prostitution? Happy spending time with people who are me. <laughs> So I was always insecure about that. And... <laughs> oh, I missed these. Where's this, where's this going? Or what do you see happening between us? And it was clear she just didn't feel the same way. She okay, yeah, they're definitely said, still on the relationship. He's still on this. Oh man. Oh, we were with my. It is called. Well, wait a minute. It was Broken Hearts name given <laughs> after the fact? Like we've been going out six or seven. Um, months and you think of us as an exclusive couple. Yeah, I think it's near the end yeah. when Kyle starts talking about. It was just such an easy thing for her to say uh, about uh, the just, film. It, it, yeah, tie, it ties into, into Kyle's in-universe film, guys. Broken, broken yeah, Hearts. I don't know right. if had tunnel vision, but yeah, I had been so focused on her for the past few months that I didn't. Even the give one that you thought. wrote mm-hmm. as Kyle. Yes. And yes. it's truly it's the really worst kind of thing disarming. I've ever written or I've ever read. I know someone as well. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> when I said that, I didn't mean like that long. bad. Yeah. In, in I feel a, like Alex's response to what I read was not. It would be a very. It was. A, it's a full. <laughs> well, I mean, it shows how right. important it is to talk about things like that. Yeah. Yeah. Even well, we're getting really meta textual there yeah. because if I wrote it as Kyle, that was actually the sort you're the one who created Kyle. Foundation. So, <laughs> if technically, you co- shouldn't it be the one? I guess it should be uh, me that writes right it. Now. It's true. It's called Broken Hearts. Okay. I don't know. But I also did enjoy the process of writing in character. The story I can imagine that's got to be fun. Yeah. What like sort of? There's just so many levels. Yeah, to whatever that was um, <laughs> that you have to yeah. that you have to put into <laughs> make of that story consideration and incorporate it. Well, does Michael second guess really Kyle, or, or did you oh, find there was a bit of a no, dichotomy going on, or you had to I replace yourself? Or? I, no, that's a really good question. Yeah, I, it's it it's like been a little, little while like, since we did that exercise, but I feel like I feel like Michael wasn't even there. Um, I mean, I feel like Kyle broken, was just out on the wheel, um, and like most of the dialogue <laughs> at that place, point, kind of taking shape. No, I agree. Story's broken, like, yeah. like a journalist. Like, is there any alcohol involved or what? Because Kyle <laughs> broken. Like, it'd be all method. I've written the beans. Yeah, I I mean I would like to go that method, but I am I don't drink in real life, so that's a that's a little. That's a territory I just um, I just couldn't enter. But, I have the plot. Uh, yeah, it's definitely something to think of the the mindset story, of what that might really be like for Kyle. I've been working on it practically That's every day cool. for the past month. For sure. Has it been a way for you to work through uh, what happened with you and Roxanne? I guess. Yeah. Did it ever has it ever helped? Do, do, do you think it helped Kyle work through Probably. what happened with Roxanne? Mm. But uh, but then you. It might have been a temporary solution. But I think it very much was temporary because I think whatever he was working through um, was only exacerbated yeah, well, by everything that happened after. Um, like, I don't think this I film think was a healthy exercise for him. No, that's fair. Yeah. That would have been fun, though, to have shot with you directed, with you playing Kyle. Yeah. And directing. For sure. And that would have been Roxanne, messy because then it's just like, girls do I, as were just the off. director of writer of the Scar like stuff, yeah. step so in and step in. correct Both Kyle? That was, <laughs> but you were totally like, I don't, that, that, 
I'm, I don't know. That would have been a messy and fun experience, I think. For sure, for sure. I don't know. I don't know all and also, that. where do you draw the line on Kyle treating people like shit on set? That was my Yeah. Because you still true, want people mm-hmm. to yeah, actually be... Like, true. everyone would have to be that's acting, true. and there would have to be yeah. breaks that's from the acting well. on yeah. set. That's true as well. Uh, you know, well, theoretically, you as the sort of yeah, greater creator would have... Right. Created everything that was going to happen, like on the I set. To, I, to I think so. The I, world. I think a lot of that. Yeah. I think we would have had to have had a second camera rolling to catch yeah. that as well, and like that yeah. in itself would well, be I, I toyed with the idea seen to do, and would be also I, directed and whatnot. Broke, For sure, I, I I've had that so experience so. a little bit. Even when you're filming something that's Boy, supposed to be very kind of spontaneous or experimental or whatever. Just sort of you like kind of do need title. someone to properly yeah. curate what you're doing just to make yeah. sure that yeah. <laughs> the stuff is like usable and yeah. that everyone's kind of on the yeah, same page about what you're doing. Like that. And then, Katie yeah, you got to walk that line because you don't want people to have mm-hmm. a truly bad experience, <laughs> even though yeah, it would look like a bad experience. Like kind of yeah, definitely not. Definitely not. Yeah, because that would be like any other scene where you would have to decide how much is very specifically written and following the script versus letting it go just because it's. A guy directing a film doesn't necessarily mean that it is necessarily mm-hmm. improvisation, of course. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just some, and I think it would be I'm not along sure. the same lines as what the podcast we, we kind of had. To know each other probably a little more yeah. structured right, but, than what the podcast uh, was. Yeah. We hadn't really because that was really just like, here's your beats, yeah. go. Yeah. yeah. And then That's you all just kind of filled in. And there were some spots where you filled in with stuff that's not canon people. that now yeah. has to be canon. But I feel like the more right. talk at school and, stuff like that. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, as I'm listening, I'm like, oh, no. World building in real time. But like, you, have oh, to, no. you have to be open to that yeah, possibility, yeah. obviously. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, then the so it's like, yeah, I can yeah. make it work. It's not like it cross country things and you all hit yeah, what you needed race, to hit yeah. and whatnot. Or you are just like, in a yeah. way. They were trying to get it. There's a. There's some term for, that refers to like a piece of information that's yeah. that's accepted as canon, but has not necessarily but I mean, been presented like, in canon no, or I mean, something like, like that. I'm that's kind of the inverse of what we did. Like, yep. But, <laughs> nope, that was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Except the mud run. You beat me on whatever that is. I, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and I mean, they were probably and probably already have. I mean, I, was I mean, as humans, gotten into yeah, degrees of canon. Like Star Wars for sure, but even yeah. Marvel, like Daredevil and all those things. Yeah, how their characters are in the these Disney MCU shows, like yeah. Kingpin and like all that. Silent break. But uh, and even Daredevil and Spider Man movie. Yeah, yeah. But are they canon as as such? They're like a degree of canon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I use that term. I remember. There's someone who works. I remember reading this. There's someone who works for Lucasfilm. And their entire job well, I mean, is just to curate the kind of Lucasfilm just, like, Bible of things that around. have been established yeah, kind of. in the Star Wars universe. <laughs> That's their entire job is just to keep up to date with what's canon in that universe. Yeah. <laughs> that's gotta be that's gotta be tricky okay so but yeah for example what other elements for sure yeah, gonna be in this pretty story? darn nerdy but like loving it <laughs> um yeah yeah you've really well, got to have a, a strong big, passion for the content story, if that's your if that's your full-time kind of job sure. i imagine uh, it's true though too I, yeah you, well because even myself i can find people who are more or less oh knowledgeable and into like the mcu I like to get yeah into, you know, you know, maybe maybe you knowing you that there are people that are like full on somehow yeah with more or less relationship to it either they have a youtube show where they literally talk about it yeah or they're literally writing it or not even but they just love it a lot so i think right i think that it's gonna be steve kazan and and my cousin seem to be talking about action figures oh Oh, interesting do they did they know each other as well before or is this yeah. something just gonna happen? You're gonna okay. go I think turn, they've known each other. Like my cousin's up in, you know, filmmaking in Toronto. Summer. Oh, cool. Gavin oh, Downs. And infidelity. Oh, I have, I have not had the pleasure, but I hope I get to meet him <laughs> someday. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. I just because he put up a flipping post about a, a Motu doll. Yeah, there's gonna be. So they've worked together, and you've worked with Steve as well. Oh, I've definitely worked with Steve a bunch. Yeah. 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 I thought so. I mean, and I don't know necessarily what was the onus, the beginning of their connection. I know they both actually like Zack Snyder's. Well, I haven't, you know, like hired anyone right. yet or anything. I figured. And they're the only two I know who do. I don't know. I got a few people to pitch in. 
Like but I just saw that Steve did uh, yeah. make a comment yeah. on his uh, He-Man uh, doll post on Instagram. So I was like, oh, okay, yeah, they definitely know each other. That's cool. Really yeah. small world. Wow. Because you're paying. <laughs> well, I mean, it depends. I'm going to look at the budget. Oh, yes, Kyle yeah. pays everyone with experience. I figure I'm going to call yeah. some favors. Mm. The best currency, them. really. Yep. Be more expensive stuff. But, um, <laughs> you yeah. never have enough. Experience. That's how I pay my bills. All in experience. In experience. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, maybe I could talk a little bit now about uh, what. Okay, I so he he finally. Oh, it's finally it. cooking. <laughs> but it's We're on it. not a recipe. Yeah, just it was the next one. What he had to eat. Sandwich. Yeah. It had uh, eggs and kale. <laughs> kale. Yeah, with some really nice seasoning. And, and then tofu. I mean, no, no, sorry, not tofu. Tuna. <laughs> tuna. Yeah, tuna. Uh, it's but, sorry, yeah, not nice tofu. Tuna. Oh, I know it and, starts with a T, uh, but yeah. <laughs> I think that what made it really <laughs> that's where the similarities the start and end. That's the real. It's a it's a cool um, trick. And it's it sort of is a trick, and you could see a trick as being something that's positive, nice and go, nice and easy going, or you could see What's it as something that's. Had you actually had an omelet that day? Um, like, were you actually talking like, for about example, what you had? My breakfast? grandmother, we always thought she had the best peanut butter and honey <laughs> sandwich. Oh, I don't think so. Another one that's fun to cook up. I'm talking about an omelet, or um, yeah, um, omelet. And what it was was that she was putting butter you like on it as well. In that's how, that's how, that was her secret Perfectly. to making a truly magnificent, magnificent. Like is this something? Is this sandwich. something you would actually eat? This omelet he's describing. You know, so that's like a legitimate trick, but she was dastardly <laughs> tricking us because she didn't admit it from the beginning. But whatever, <laughs> we were young. So, anyways, in this case, yeah, you put some butter on it. Well, it's making me think of things, and, but I'm not sure uh, where I was. Those who don't like <laughs> tuna necessarily. Like, this is not like a tuna sandwich. This I was curious as to where you're pulling these from. Like, but, but also, right. like, you know, it doesn't harm the seas type can. It's probably, like, you know, a variety yeah, of plastic. It's the grandma I mentioned and that she was tricking nice us. Chunks. That I was with Rocky Rope cookies that she said she made, but she actually got them from the grocery store. That's a little odd to me. Oh. Even if they're uh, like buttered toast. But so maybe I'm, yeah, and butter was a thing that she did okay. that made everything Honestly, good. I couldn't even tell. But sure. She didn't say, either. you know, like, even like a peanut butter and banana sandwich with butter on it. It could have not even had meat. I really didn't think it had meat. And on right. the end of it, oh wow, what a dust! I didn't actually crack. cook it, oh, okay. but uh, my um, also, well, omelets and half. quiche, and uh, even a thing called frutata. And, I don't know if you know, but yeah, they're basically the same thing, so that means that I was guessing my way it. Oh, cool, and uh, yeah, like it's just I'm pretty darn wrapping up stuff, tuna, putting it in eggs, putting in some seasonings, or what it ruined nothing. It was actually cooking it one way or another, so I highly recommend that tuna. Eggs now, and then when you cook the egg, excuse me, you want to cook it only so much that uh, the yellow is not, you know, running all over you, but um, it's Can still somewhat it liquidy, <laughs> soft. All right, so that you get a nice fullness and a uh, a nice. Yeah, thickness. I definitely think I'm a little bit just kale. like filler or something, like having dessert spices diamonds. and then butter on the toast and rye bread, multi grain. That sounds good. Uh, how long did that take to eat? To put together? Uh, <laughs> not that long was a really long. good yeah, point. No, that, that's, that can be a, a really, so that you can get ready to go for the day. It's Yeah, if, if she had had, I think, another half an hour, it would have been two or three more layers. It would have been like a big one with tomatoes and a few different things like that. Mm. Uh, but as it was, it was perfect for the route. When you're on your way to work or what have you. Like, I was on my way to doing this show. Yeah. yeah it could so be I'm referring to something real, but I don't know. Yeah. Thank you. Thank the you. logistics of eating a, an omelet on the go seem complicated, though, because that is something <laughs> yeah. you need a fork you and know, a knife to eat. Be, <laughs> especially because <laughs> later on, Alex talks about driving. And that's what it was. Shoot. Kyle doesn't drive. Alex does. So Kyle yeah. doesn't yeah. drive. But in the sure. podcast, Maybe Kyle the drove there. I think... Now. It actually uh, works okay because Kyle just lies. And if we're talking about okay, yeah, that's fair. Set, so yeah, sure, drove as in had someone there, drive him. Right. Yeah. I guess that's not 
Right. It's just a different version of the truth, I suppose. <laughs> yep, yep, different version of the truth, or, uh, aka lie. Yes, <laughs> they eat popcorn instead. Omission of details. Think about it, it's something you would eat yes. watching a movie rather than making a movie. Well, to get people in the mood, like we're making a movie. Oh, okay. oh yes, yeah, popcorn on film set. sets, and I know this from mm. experience. Not tons and tons, but I have been yeah. on uh, a film set or two. Um, <laughs> it doesn't feel like a movie. Mm. So I want you to. Well, That's I mean, deep, man. That you make it feel like a movie. It doesn't so feel like a movie when you're on a film set. Right. Gee. I'll uh, think that already. Oh. Yeah, I think that's that sort of possible. Cool. Long way. Okay. Yeah. It feels like something okay. different, right? I mean, like, I, hit, I heard something recently about actors no, not watching any movies at all. Say that we can't do chicken. Yeah, I've heard a few stories like okay. that. Yeah. <laughs> I under, I can understand that while you're in the middle of shooting something. Sounds, sounds good. And yeah. Good. Well, then, I mean, yeah, the act of... Uh, it is true, though, that the sure. act of making a movie and watching a movie, I mean, I mean it's so different. You have any Very sure. different. I, I prefer being on a set as oh, opposed yeah, to watching a movie. It's just a better let's energy. How, let's yeah. let's go one step at a time. I want to see you oh. get real with That's the goals of yours. Sure, yeah. Like I find, have you made any attempts to watch a movie, like sort of pulling yourself out of the story and just it's trying to break well, down yeah, the elements? Of, be. Oh yeah, no, no, I love watching a movie that way. And yeah. do you find that you're able, or do you find you end up you are very pulled in, and times all of a sudden gone by? Depends, oh, no. depends on the movie, depends on the story. Yeah, but for the most part, I can separate myself. I can separate. Um, yeah. I can separate those two things. Yeah, and watch the movie strictly for all its elements. But I do have a few things going for on sure. as well, so we'll see about scheduling. This thing. How about you? We'll work it out. I generally feel the same. I feel like I can separate the two, but once in a while, like very happy. occasionally, I'll find myself watching something and just yeah. wondering how they got a shot, and then I'll yeah. be it's thinking to myself, I'll be like counting the kind of the kind of um, Stupid girl. I haven't really things necessary to make the scene the happen, and I'll just be thinking like, "Oh man, that must have been a long, that, that must have been a long on. setup or something yeah. weird like that." <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I, and I have even like pulled it back and like wanted to watch something but the right. same moment well, again. Or what? Yeah, yeah. First episode, and that's but that's part of movie making too is that you can cut to the next thing real quick, so the people yeah. don't have enough time to think about that. That was like an explicit in uh, the Mary Poppins scene where they float up to the ceiling. Yeah, he wanted there to be multiple ways that they do the trick, and then cutting quickly between the different multiple ways, so no one has to right. oh, no. And figure out any one of them. Wait, well, you mean they didn't really do that? But obviously, I'm not. They did do that. Oh, what do you mean didn't really do that? I always just assumed that they just did that. Actually, slowed it. Yeah, they suspended the gravity license for the day and then just floated. No, but uh, no, I mean, like, well, that's the funny thing, though, too, is that they didn't necessarily just make it up on a computer, they oh, did oh, do that, oh, but yeah. and in a variety of places, like, <laughs> for sure. Towards, but also, they built the whole set upside we'll down, this time yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, the, I love seeing stuff whenever you're watching it. <laughs> I just thought they rented an anti gravity um, machine for the day, yeah. I, to talk to to my phone. I bet if you told Tom Cruise that he was going to do that, he will do it. Yeah, current recipe. No we'll questions come, we'll asked. Come back next time. Or like, yeah, go to lower orbit to film a scene. Really interesting, yeah. exciting new way to do uh, <laughs> steaks. Oh boy, right. exciting new way to do steaks next going? episode. <laughs> okay. All right, on to episode to this two. Week's episode of on film and cooking cool. with Kyle and Alex. Oh, sorry, that one I'm that we just listened to got into the short film. And I am your host. What's that? The Broken Heart short film got brought up in that. Yes. And, yeah, uh, I did at the near Tom the end. Kyle, I am the uh, we just we popped right through it. Of a new film, um, <laughs> a House Divided. Oh, a House he, Divided. He, now. He's already renamed the film um, A House Divided. You know, like I think casting is the next step. This is my favorite <laughs> thing. My favorite running gag in. Uh, in the, it's it's an incredibly incredibly niche kind of joke, but I love the idea of like um, fake titles the, that the sound pretentious. And I'm glad that we got to do a little bit of that here, but. Ever since I was a kid, I always just enjoyed on The Simpsons. They would reference some fictional ago. movie, well, and it would just sound like the stupidest thing you've ever heard. But that was that was why it was so funny. Uh, was like, why would something ever be called that? Steaks. No, I agree. Okay, there you go. <laughs> yeah, we will we will get into that too. But um, so the film originally titled Broken Hearts realized that 
house divide. It's an incredibly new way to do stakes. It's just sort of a <laughs> an incredibly a new way to do stakes. Oh, yeah. So people aren't going to um, believe it. Yeah, a house divided. Yeah, that's what the title is now. You can uh, tell with the disdain in his man, voice. He's like, a house divide. You can already tell he's on the fence about that title. It's still something? called Broken Hearts. <laughs> okay, I might have just forgotten to change it on your copy. But how oh, so he's read it. How many right, drafts is... has there been? Uh, the one that I sent you was probably the third or fourth draft. Hmm. Right. So what were your initial thoughts on the story? About how many drafts? Uh, I mean, it's a full movie. Full short. No. <laughs> It's, mm -hmm. it's full. It's full. <laughs> That's the feedback you want to get. It's full. A lot going on. Although, I, I see what you're, you're trying to keep it inexpensive. Yeah. I don't want to say low budget or cheap, but... Uh, well, it's not <laughs> cheap. Yeah, inexpensive. Yeah. yeah. And uh, that shows. <laughs> yeah, so they get you, um, are keeping it restrained and concentrating That's on so what funny. works like like you said dialogue based right yeah and some, uh, the dialogue I, I think you are you open to letting the actors sort of naturalize uh, well not really like, i have kind of picked those words pretty specifically like, never say never but like I think that the lines written are, are good enough to serve the purpose Good enough. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Well, and you have a very specific purpose in mind. Yeah. How how do you as writers yeah, feel about cool. that very, that idea? Oh, okay. Do you Not like natural. right? Um, do you like actors then, yeah, do you sticking like to the, the script, or do you do you like them playing around? Yeah, with I your also words? was wondering about um, oh. huh? traffic. Hey? Traffic. Traffic. <laughs> crazy getting here. Did you see that? Did you drive here? You drove here. Right? Just changing the subject. Um, no, I like. Is this where uh, Klaus and the city drove? I guess that's where he drove. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know. No, uh, is it? I was on time though today. I think it's I funny though because hey, within the context of a yeah. podcast, that's they're talking about traffic, yeah. which is literally yeah. not going to affect anyone listening to it. <laughs> nope. The male and the female lead. Um, so yeah, going married. back to your question about naturalizing, uh, I like it when there. actors play with the yeah, words. Draft you read, right? Because it's just like, but I just personally, I'm looking at something oh, for a house, days, a house weeks, maybe sort of months. Makes it sound like it's a and so, like to hear it, I guess you can words coming out, way. but then to hear them come out, but I wasn't thinking in a different way is kind of it's, it's fun. <laughs> it can be exciting, yeah. yeah. Although sometimes people completely miss the point. There is reference in the story to the right, so they do have to get the same general idea. They can't change the entire plot. <laughs> but that does help me as a writer if I hear and then I hear the words being like someone naturalized in the dialogue, and then it, they miss the point. It's just like, oh, well, maybe I maybe the point didn't come across enough in there, so maybe I should dig into this and find out why that was what was determined. Yeah, yeah, almost naively. I come from a family of writers, and it was always instilled yeah. well, in me that uh, you know, just have to kind of write how more. people say things. It's yeah. there's more benefit to that than trying to like yeah overwrite so a line, I suppose. Yep. They each have a yeah. <laughs> I don't, it took a it took a yeah. lot of years yeah, of writing for me to get like yeah. reasonably it's, okay so at that. Divided before they mm -hmm. even sort of break up. Like everyone seems to like the dialogue yeah. for yeah. scars. Yeah. So I mean, like. I'm happy about that, live together. but it took a long yeah. time to, like so that. Well, so yeah, I go back to like my first short film, fictional, and the dialogue was just mm -hmm. stiff yeah. and awkward not and you, awful. No, right. Not me necessarily, but not the naive. So like it just it takes work to get their dialogues hard yeah. to read. Yeah. and it's good to observe your own kind of progression and growth with that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Like I, uh, yeah, always start with something that uh that happened during the day kind of thing. Um, to inspire what I will be cooking that day. Well, especially uh, too, but perhaps, our, I don't know, but like when you're writing someone that oh, yeah. doesn't that, uh, speak like you place. or what? So that's mm. really cool. Like even a completely can, different yeah. gender or race or discount for the or something like that. context? Well, discount. I right. Well, not because obviously cost. it's I'll interestingly at least yeah. going to be what but, I mean, how I you perceive I don't even have to necessarily say myself, but obviously the. As a to have a certain humility. You get free food as an employee. Yeah. How does that work? Um, I would think that would be the main benefit to working with me, right? Or Fiji. 
Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> when you're on shift, you get one free mission. Oh, yes, the new job. Okay. And so, uh, what one do you what? say? I give Alex has the new job to catering company. Them and use them on your set? No. Obviously not. Save up all the free meals. So, um, <laughs> no. Yeah, no, I, I'll, I'll give you a sheet with the list of expenses. Right. For catering. Expenses. And I, I I think they do snacks usually on sets as well. I mean, I suppose it's Alex doesn't great. necessarily it's know what he's talking about. I love that though, even though Alex like, last episode yeah, was yeah, just like, like I, I've been on a few like film sets and uh I don't know what they call it. <laughs> the craft table is what they call it. I mean maybe maybe those yeah. sets didn't have snack tables. I think it was a little I subtle to get out at uh, Kyle for not feeding his team or something. Yeah, exactly. They you know they usually have snacks. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, no, so, Alex uh, likes to take digs at Kyle. Yeah, the people on set they can eat <laughs> and I love it. Whatever they want, but I feel like if we had it just gets worse as the episodes go on. <laughs> yeah, catering guy. Like maybe that could kind of be your domain. Maybe that could be the way they could be useful. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like I said, I'll, I'll come to you with a cost sheet, and then, uh, and then we can work that out. And I'll come to you with a cost on. sheet. <laughs> yeah, I think it makes sense to go with this new catering company. It'd be fun. Just so you know that this is not use coming to you as a right. gift or what. We're not yeah, just. Well, yeah. yeah, I'm working there basically just about every day. We're and each day it's 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 immediately. <laughs> you, know, you have a different, exciting new challenge every day. Like we had a hotel yesterday, a big mm. conference thing. And then uh, tomorrow we have a, uh, a bar mitzvah. And um, so that's going to be really I'm interesting. Really to to have a cook. Fascinating life of a caterer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not yeah. the head chef, but uh, I'm helping out yeah. and uh, coming up with some ideas. I love how like down the road when Alex works at a call center, they can just the big celebrate. The, the big yeah. point yeah. is I get to take breaks and, and I get to walk around the room. With some sort of. <laughs> general sort of all-purpose meal that would make the most sense then yep yeah i mean we can we can once you've got a cast and crew set we can survey them a little bit i can take care of that i'm pretty organized i should have a cast and crew in place i don't know within a week maybe because you're pretty well far pretty far along already yeah yep. i mean it's it fast yep to put all the <laughs> such a fast process to to cast them, and crew up do the work go through some of the For applications sure. And what about you in terms of uh, getting you know, like a daily job? I, you know, I'm. I think that my strength is really in um, uh, like like film itself. So I want to be a creator. I want to tell stories, but I'm also pretty proficient technically. Like I'm good on camera. I'm good with the audio stuff. So I think it's just a matter of time before I find the right fit. So not necessarily all blockbuster films, but uh, maybe commercials or yeah. There's tons of corporate work out there for you know a guy with the right skill set and training. And so you're actively searching now, or because you, you're nowhere specifically just yet. Well, I mean, like I'll, I'll browse the job sites when I have time, sort of thing. Hmm. I sent in a few applications. I've worked a few contracts. I've done. The odd weekend here and there on shoots. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And it's something, some of that is feeding into the budget of this one, this short film, passion project. Yeah. Well, uh, House Divided is certainly a passion project. You don't necessarily get into independent filmmaking to make money. You no, you don't. Everyone. Every time I think this uncomfortable camera. conversation's wrapping up, it just mm -hmm. digs deeper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so that's why. That's why. We didn't end up talking about this last time. Remember the, the, well, how how you were going to pay them? Well, work experience mm -hmm. is like invaluable. Oh, oh no! Oh, that's work, project. work experience is invaluable. I want to. Oh, okay, I. We, we can send it to festivals. I I hate online. this part of the conversation. I feel like the kind of like it's good, but like that my actors are going to get and that it makes real. it'll make a lot of creative people out there squirm. Who's going to get? That's for sure. Yep. No, 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 there's the whole phenomenon of just like throwing a number at someone. sort of go to going in to participate yeah, in a so project on the promise that to, maybe uh, it will be the one. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? Well, absolutely. Like, uh, it I never ends. We, it's almost like the thing that here. We have a 
good foundation. A very, mm, a very I don't know, but that I well that I didn't want and it's the most in sort of moving on a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then so like the casting is already going on. Just hearing it again. Yeah, well, I'm gonna be uh, now. now it's it like oh yeah, it maybe like I don't know. I have less we'll possibility to yeah. believe. I was talking it. to an awesome person just the other day. Uh, a guy uh, ours is going to be the one a lot of going on yep. it'll it'll and it'll be the one really interesting character he's <laughs> just need y'all to work for free for me a little bit and, well and then it comes to the thing that you know whatever it's owner, doesn't have to be yeah he does uh, blow up uh, but does not to be a big clip have yeah, been yeah. worthwhile oh, like, uh, yeah. yeah 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 him not so much i don't mind hair, working on a project for like um, almost nothing or nothing as long as people are upfront about it and it's something that i'm interested in and yeah he's, uh, but also like amazing doing stuff amazing that is paying that. like say my day uh, job does like, come first <laughs> so it's able just, like, to, um, yeah i really do like working with friends and, too so if i have a previously really established has, relationship to connection to with somebody and they want me to do that. something right. it's and, uh, it's almost always going to be a yes so, but i was thinking you might be same. Yeah. <laughs> same there's some people who i've worked with who i don't ever want to work with again yeah. Even if I was paid to, I would be like, no, nope, yeah, not yeah, worth it. Sure. But yeah, no. Uh, well, that usually, a usually your first experience, oh. usually your first I mean, experience with any given party is a pretty good how did you envision him fitting test as to how that's going to proceed. Him. Why are you telling me yep. this story? <laughs> I think he might be usually. something really cool. For yep, the I mean, you can like, see especially improvement and people and stuff. Mm -hmm. you need mm -hmm. someone to be like, I don't know, last time I wasn't sure about that. Yeah, yeah. And it's not so even uncommon for that dynamic to change throughout your first like, I don't see experience with people, whatever, yeah, like from day one to day ten. A guy maybe things will get better. Acrobatic with yep. no acting experience. I don't know. I think I gotta do my best your not to. Project could only profit mm -hmm. from uh, the presence of on some real characters. This thing that's gonna go on YouTube. <laughs> for people and well, yeah, throw I'm references. Open to it. So I won't. Yeah. <laughs> I think yeah. I think we have something really special on our hands. And oh. it's going to take some work. I'm going to have Says to call every bears, but... filmmaker okay, sorry, ever. I'm realizing that we're getting on in the time, so I should get on with my cooking segment. I thought you were, you, Alex you just wants already, to be done with us. <laughs> Which one? What? No. He's like, you already did so, it. So uh, <laughs> today, I meant, as I mentioned, we're going to talk about steaks. I got a really interesting way that I think is going to throw a curveball at a lot of people who think they know steak. Um, okay. So this I think is I do, involving so I'm prepared cheese. That one blown. Cheese? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know you don't necessarily think of steaks and cheese going together, except for a Philly cheesesteak. Well, no, <laughs> not at all. But, yeah, I do. Uh, and then peppers too. <laughs> peppers and uh, a lot of nice sauce. Wait, uh, the generally roll. the steaks would be cooked to a medium well done level and uh, marinated constantly Even. while they're cooking. Okay. Uh, you want to get the peppers in there in long, thin slices uh, so on top of the steaks. So, <laughs> and uh, you can put some seasoning on top and all around so that it sort of this keeps sounds, it together. This sounds like something you could eat on set. Right? <laughs> like, would you be interested in preparing something like this for the <laughs> Well, I don't know if your I just, uh, budget exactly I'm includes just, steak. I'm just kind of like, heard so far. I'm kind of like, this, this whole notion that you're so interested in cooking and preparing food, and I'm giving you an opportunity to do that. You don't really seem interested. I love the idea of your little pro your pro I don't sorry. I don't mean to say little, but yeah, well, it's not a I've got a few <laughs> opportunities lined up for my cooking. So so don't don't not worry about my cooking, and let's just get it to the net to the, the listeners. <laughs> Um, so then you can put cheese on top of all of that, yeah. uh, and let it melt. Right. It's really important that the cheese be nice and melted yeah. over oh, the, man. uh, peppers so that you want to try to keep the peppers stuck to the steak. So just, um, so um, that it doesn't get slippy sloppy, uh, okay. while you're eating. Well, we can, we can elaborate on this later. Maybe I'll put it, we can put it in the text description order, but. Well, and I mentioned for your short <laughs> film, I mean, popcorn is a good stuff. Yeah. So we're running out of time here, so I just want to, um, I figured it would be good each week if we touch on a little bit of, you know, cinematic history. Because this show isn't just about cooking, this show is about movies, right? Okay, so this is a new segment you're introducing? Yeah. Okay. Well, the whole show is about movies, so I don't see why not. <laughs> the show is about his so, movie. I don't know if you knew this, but today is the day in 1975 that The Shining was released. 
Oh, wow. No, I did not know that. This specific day? I already know that's wrong. That's and why it's so fun. John Travolta was actually yep. Stanley Kubrick's first pick. I don't think any of this is true <laughs> at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In what year? 75. 75. Wow. And so Travolta was coming off Saturday Night Fever. Yeah. yeah. Grease? Yeah. Grease had been done? I think so. None of that's true. And Stephen King <laughs> really hated the Sinister film. He's very famous. That's true. It would have been a better Stephen movie King doesn't like The Shining. Oh, wow. Yeah. Stephen King thought John Travolta would have been good? Yeah. Better than Jack Nicholson. I mean, The Shining book was better than the movie. Almost all of the Stephen King books are better than the movies. They seem to materialize the way we think they will. But something materializes. Yeah. Oh! Well, don't oh. get me wrong. It's a terrific oh. film. I'm going to go home and watch it tonight. But hmm. Shots fired. You usually do. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we'll okay, catch up okay. with you next time, next week, on Film and Cooking with Kyle and Alex. I've been your host, Kyle Hayes. And I've been your host, Alex Crawford. And we'll see you next week where we talk some more about my film, A House Divided. Or Broken Hearts or whatever. <laughs> uh, oh, there's a bonus thing. But, Sean, do you have time to do one more episode? Thank you. So how, much, how long is each episode? 15 minutes? About 15, 20 minutes. All right, fine. One more. Okay. It's also my favorite episode, but the bonus content, I forgot. Sure. I put bonus content in here, too, that I had to cut that everyone was trying to keep a straight face through because I don't know where the fuck you came up with this. Okay. Well, one, he's got an enormous social media following, and there's nothing in your script that says <laughs> the character can't be disabled. You're not trying to say that he can't be any because he's disabled. I didn't... <laughs> I just okay. Uh, I'll give him a chance to audition. Uh, I'll send you the link and you can forward it to him. Well, yeah, I mean, I'll let him know that he's got a really great chance. I won't try to give him any false. Ex- Don't give him anyone false hope here. I but mean. um. Hello and welcome to uh, this week's edition Lovers of Film. Born Film and Cooking with Kyle. The and drinking Alex. episode. I'm your host Kyle Hayes. Oh. Okay. And I'm your host Alex Crawford. Yeah, so I had to Maybe run out of the room because kind of, I was laughing so fucking hard. Especially yeah, it's all coming back to me. I am deep into pre-production for my uh, debut short film, Lovers No More, and um, <laughs> that's the most recent title. Yeah, Lovers No More is the title. I'm the most to. recent. Most divided. You raised some interesting points last. Week. I didn't think it necessarily worked for the story I was trying to tell. So Lovers No More <laughs> is the title. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's, it's sort of between, uh, like, because A House Divided was sort of like they were married or something. Yeah. Lovers. <laughs> lovers No More. Lovers No More is sort of, <laughs> yeah, they were lovers. They didn't necessarily have a no significant more. emotional relationship or... Well, that's the title I'm going with. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> I have put up an so many holes already poked in that uh, time. Male actors <laughs> to portray the lead role of Adam in my film, mm-hmm. and I received a bunch of applications. So today we're going to play a little bit of a game here on the podcast. Oh yes. These are just straight up <laughs> submissions, or they are uh, self tapes, or there's they're a headshot, headshot. resume cover letter. Okay. Okay. Right. So, I'm going to go through them, and as you know, or as hopefully some people here know, the last shot of a film, the last shot you take for a day's worth of filming is called the martini shot. So I thought we could turn this into a little bit of a game. As you know, my drink of choice is... Uh, it's vodka. Vodka, yeah. Vodka is my drink of choice. <laughs> so for Best every, friends, huh? You know... That, that water vodka. bottle is full of vodka? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. For every, you know, sort of weird... Uh, like I think that's the first time Kyle kind of openly admits that's what's in his water bottle, because usually he's more secretive about that. I think anyone would be if they had vodka <laughs> in a water bottle. Yeah, but he just, <laughs> he just acknowledges that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, just like, yep, that's what it is. I will have actually filmed my, my Adam, my leading role. Okay. You won't be Which I gotta think, given that he's admitted that, that yeah, we'll see how that's gotta cause Alex at some point to just go care. back and think how many so, times has Kyle had that exact <laughs> same water bottle. Yeah. How often is that filled with vodka? By that's the way, true, I didn't true. get to preview uh, 
my cooking segment this week, uh, last week. So uh, I just wanted to let you know that l- later on in the show today, um, we'll be talking. Actually, it's funny because we'll be talking about rum raisin cake. Um, so yeah, with a little, little bit of the. I'm not sure how I feel about the alcohol theme, but that's what we're going with. <laughs> alcohol themed casting session. Okay, there we go. Oh, I remember this. This was brutal. Here. Look at his headshot. Argyle sweater. And like, uh, paper you're holding <laughs> was a blank, Hello? and I don't think my name is any, there are any names Mason. that were written down prior. I'm a trained actor. Yes. Years of extensive I think you just came up with everything on the fly. I very much look forward to committing myself to the role you have crafted. Mm. Kind to you. It seems like he needed to fill space any way possible. Like, I don't even understand the sentence structure. <laughs> <laughs> Recognizing that you've uh, crafted, that's a nice word to use about you. I don't know. It comes off as a little pompous. Mm. And I think he he's phrasing it in a way that he already has the role, which I don't really like. So, Daniel Mayhew. Well, he looks forward to it. He, he could have said, it's going to be when I do. you know. But he said he's looking forward to the possibility. I'm going to take a shot. Wait. Now, uh, that photo is reasonable. And... <laughs> Let's put him in the consideration pile. Is there a bit of an undercount of me trying to get, okay. keep you from drinking? I think it was either going to be. I think that's the idea. Yeah. Like I don't have time to go through a second tier of auditions. Like I just need to pick someone. Like and like also not so you're saying these, you know, ridiculous with casting. Right. Yeah. Because right. this is not how you do it. I'm gonna stick with no. the water. Certainly not. <sighs> This right. is exactly how I cast so, everyone. Daniel, you're out. In scars. <laughs> this exact game. Yep. Cool. I did shots. I was so wasted when I was just like Michael and Sean. Alex, you got Sander. you got to the last two of the pile, and you're like, <laughs> I, I guess. <laughs> like, well, there isn't anyone else, so I guess these <laughs> two are the people who are playing those two characters well, onto the female all. leads. Like That's awesome. Hmm. Well, what did you put on the casting website, like the description or what? Um, 20 to 30, um, young male. Uh, no particular ethnicity? No particular ethnicity. That's um, good. Yeah. So I'm you're open to honest. receiving any ethnicity. Oh, uh, yeah, I suppose I am. But he just doesn't, I don't know. Don't really see it. It's important to let Adam uh, evolve, you know, because it's, it's, yeah, it might have been developed, like you said. Here you go. <laughs> oh, so for our listeners at home, I took a shot for Alexander. Uh, sorry. It is important, though, that though it be inspired by you, you know, it's like Adam will take on his own life. You got to let him become something beyond you, perhaps. Yeah. Um, all right, we have a lot of applications to go through so we can't cry over every single one of the rejects here. <laughs> the rejects, wow. Okay, maybe this is a good time for me to do a little uh, a cooking segment. What? Are you ready? For what? A cooking segment. That's not the theme of today's show, though. Like, we're focusing on casting <laughs> original more today. Yeah, I'm just wondering if it's a good moment to take a break from that. <laughs> After one. Okay, well, After... yeah, so, yeah, for today's cooking segment, we're going to be talking about... Time for a break. We cake. worked hard. It's just by chance that it has alcohol in it, uh, and he's going a little alcoholic today. <laughs> but, um, anyways, yes, yeah, so rum raisin cake is a lovely thing to add on to any kind of uh, smorgasbord at a uh, family get-together or uh, Christmas, or Easter, or uh, April Fool's Day. Um, <laughs> no, have no. some from okay. cake okay. for I'll April Fool's. A little bit later if you have yeah, we'll come back to it. Um, <clears throat> okay. This character is named 
John Stamos. Back to the film again. Almost like John Stamos. John Amos. Clearly. <laughs> Does he look like John Stamos? Let me see. Not at all, eh? Yeah, he's not that good looking. So. But I think that sort of nerdy look is what is that what Adam looks like? Yeah. Well, he's not a nerd. <laughs> but he's got a bit of a nerdy look. He's intelligent. I would call him a nerd. No. I don't see the. I don't see Adam being a nerd. But this guy, if this if this was Adam, you know, he would take on that sort of nerdy side. Well, it's not a bad thing. Let's read his cover letter here. Um, not a bad thing at all. Dear Kyle, thank you for taking the time to read my application. Well, he doesn't know that he's done that yet. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I am committed. And I was just kind of being an asshole for the sake of being an asshole. No kidding. Okay. I guess that means like he hasn't done this type of role yet. That means like it sounds like he doesn't hasn't done anything yet. His resume is not that long. Hmm. Hmm. Committed to expanding my repertoire. Well, you can at least call him in for an audition. I think he's got a. Hmm. You just think you're going to find the Adam right now, right here, off a headshot? Well, I mean, we've got a lot of submissions to go through, so... If I'm not... If I'm not sold by it, I'm unfortunately going to have to pass on it. And I'm going to have to take a shot. Well, no, I don't... I don't know if every simple pass... Maybe you should be a bit more specific about your criteria for taking this guy's oh. shot. That's getting a little bit stinky. I thought the criteria should be uh, like no. loosening yeah. as this casting session goes, okay. but it's not. Okay, maybe one more. Yeah, pretty harder. Yeah, for sure. James Olman. Olman. Old you, Olman. Um, you are in a muscle shirt. I was like a beefcake. Somebody got a picture. Oh no, but I could see you seeing Adam as an idealized form. An idealized form of what? Uh, the inspiration of the character. All right, let's read James Olman. Let's read his uh, cover letter here. You thinking Adam's pretty muscular? Um, Kyle. Thank you for this opportunity to apply to your feature film. Um, like a women want him, men want to be him type of character? <laughs> Can you just stop talking for a second? I'm trying to focus. Um, Is it difficult to read? A little bit. His punctuation's kind of <laughs> weird. I don't even... Oh, no, Kyle, if you're I just know. getting drunk. Okay, I can speak. Oh, there's, there's, well, if there's two of them, that's maybe just because you're getting blurry vision wait then does this mean michael that this is someone who has never had a drink at all to, i think that pretend uh, to be drunk yes yeah, this, this is michael pretending to be drunk character and this guy yeah. just reads this kind well, i've of not i've not never had a drink but okay. i, well, you I am, have muscles and intelligence i'm not he i'm not a drinker just looks like yeah. and I, I wouldn't have been when we were recording Superman. this no so it's maybe like i was maybe i was drawing on some past experiences a little bit very intelligent superman's uh Reporter, is he not? He's a journalist. Yeah. By day. I feel I like at this really... point, uh, at this Sorry. point, I've probably played drunk more it's than been drunk. Kind of yeah. It has. Oh, you did it. You did a good job. He almost oh, looks thanks. like sort of like a thug. What's interesting though is as a non-drinker, I was having this discussion with a friend today. I spent so much of my life observing uh, drunk people right. in social yeah. environments, so that's really the trick. <laughs> You, yeah, well, and I mean, there's, you know, you're obviously conscious when you're doing that as opposed to when you're drunk. Mm -hmm. So you right. want to, so on the next number, right? Prepare, the yeah, for sure. Prepare the cake. Sorry, we've got a guy named. I think we I should it. do the Roman Raisin segment real quick and we should slow you down. No, you already. All right. Okay, you put that down for a second. You already. That's not what people now, here listen to. You make a basic cake to start off with, circular, <laughs> all right. about five <laughs> all right. inches deep. And the important part no about rum and raisin is that you I uh, love this is the sauce. Yeah. All right. So, so in a bowl, so in a big actor, bowl, the next actor is still he's still trying to plow through. What he's saying, Brandon 
Wait. He's just going to ignore <laughs> Alex. Brandon, wait. I think you pronounced it. You have two podcasts going on at the same time. It's, yeah. It's, 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 it's overlapping. It's, it's, it's not much better, frankly. I think he might be from well, not a different country. Well, anyways, yeah, that looks like a great look. What? Tits. That could be your, your uh, Adam. Adam. Hello, Kyle. <clears throat> nice to meet you. I'm looking forward to hearing more about this project. Please contact me if you're interested in an audition. Brendan, wait for titty. <laughs> what? Titty? What fit? Yeah, no, it's what fit. What fit? <laughs> the F sort of looks like another I, but yeah, that's just the way it's written. It's he, not, chose, he chose a particular font. I mean, not that interested in this. Um, just doesn't do it for me. His experience is in a different country, but that doesn't mean he's not experienced. Well, maybe they do some, they do things different over there. Um, I think your judgment is getting a little. I wonky. don't think he'd uh, gel very well on this set, just from what I understand here. Okay, so there's rum in it, but there right. is also no, Brandon, sugar. But Brandon with it, you can decide to go. Oh, now you're <laughs> destroying these guys' photos. <laughs> what if you want? You're not considering these guys for future pro as if there will be any future project. If I if I recall, that paper, paper I ripped up was actually some prop, some real piece of so, paper. And then you can then yeah, you tell uh, apple juice as well. I that's, forget what that's it was. Sort of but, original okay. spin so on good. it. Apple juice, mm. rum, Moving a on. little Sorry, bit of sugar, but you can Tom, go with pure cane sugar. Tom Mercer, and even some lime juice. Alex Tom Mercer. Sweetener. Alex Tom Mercer. Tom Mercer. No relation to Rick Mercer. Um, and then cream. That is a really solid, sturdy or, um, actor name, though. Sounds like a guy in the well, some eggs as well. detective novel or something. Skills. He wrote, <laughs> he wrote milk. He wrote, he wrote, look at this, he wrote Microsoft Word. <laughs> well, that's what he wrote. No, but you're, to, you're looking for someone Word. intelligent. He's, he's aiming towards that. He's clearly tweaked his resume towards you. He also has uh, five <laughs> years working with uh, Facebook. That doesn't mean anything to me. That's finding <laughs> stupid. He did editing on different websites and stuff. Yeah. Reading their their posts. I just don't really see him as like someone finding to fraudulent bring... ads. Tom I'm sure I'm gonna take another sip. As then you want to soak so the, the cake part that you've already ads. prepared in what this sauce. About? Rum and raisin cake. Why? Because that's the cooking segment for this week. Even though I haven't really been able to get to it at all. So why are you telling me this right now? You let it soak in it. Okay. And then when you put it in the oven, All right. it hardens on the top Back and to lets top. stays liquid on the bottom. I think a hard no. Hard no. Hard no. I think this is getting out of hand. <laughs> when you take your vodka and put it over here. Hey, what the fuck are you doing that for? That's a part of the game. This is an intervention. Just uh -huh. calm down, alright? It's gone far enough here. You got stuff on your face. Don't fucking put oh, it wow. on my face. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hand me the bottle back? Please? Well, you have to make a decision. Can you hand me back the bottle, please? Because it's part of the game. And I think you're, you're kind of ruining it for the people listening at home. This is, there's a max three more. Max three more. Okay. Three more, and we'll have our Adam. Bottle right. back, please. I'm not comfortable with this. Right. Yeah, Kyle is the... Uh... He's a type of drunk, drunk, a little bit of a native type of drunk. I mean, we usually get into fights in work, as far as you can. All right, are we going to fucking finish this or what? Okay. This guy's name. Does he enjoy it when he's drunk? Does he have fun? Manford. I mean, I think it's who he, it depends on who he's yeah, with, too. But a lot of it, Kyle right. spends so much of the time Nick drunk. Nick mm, yeah. that I think he could be more of a neutral drunk. When yeah. he should be I mean, I don't know. I think you need someone who's... What's that? You when he's doing like normal stuff, life, but I mean, like someone who's gonna yeah. take this project somewhere. You need a, he's a functioning like, not star alcohol. necessarily, but yeah, jacket. Like, like, think, think. like a fucking gay lord. Well, he could have a different. Wow. Headshot. <laughs> wow. Where's your headshot? I've never taken a professional headshot because I envision myself as the writer and director of this film, and if the person's not bringing my vision, oh, that's about to change. To life, I can't trust them. Hmm. Oh, but yeah. So this uh, so this person's name person wanted 
Graham. Graham. Garlic on their popcorn. What are you talking about? Not the cake. We're talking about <laughs> Graham. They wanted Graham. garlic popcorn. It was very peculiar, Alex, I but feel like, I love working I feel with like, clients. To I feel some... like we've set a timeline and you're not sticking to it, and it's kind of pissing me off. we got to get through Graham. the rest of the stack, okay? I'm just not sure, just I'm not sure how interesting finish. this is when it's, it's drinking shot game. after shot after shot. Yeah. You need to find some that are possible. Okay. Two more. Open your mind a little. Two more. <laughs> Two more. This guy's name is Graham... Crowley. Graham, I'm like a vice principal and an actor, but a vice yeah, principal. he's way too fucking old. He's to done play some Adam. cool stuff. He's way too fucking old to play Adam. Adam doesn't. Yeah, well, beard. age is experience. I mean, like, you know, he's done. He's way, way, way too old. She would not be dating this. He's been guy. on an actual television. I think I remember that episode. She would not be dating this guy. There's <laughs> another for the straight up garbage film. He says he was on Saved by the Bell. <laughs> ah, saved by, the bell. saved by the bell. <laughs> I, know, I, I wonder how many people bad. went and like if any if, if, of the people right. who listened oh, to it. Yeah, man, it's stinky. Like went onto IMDb afterwards here, and uh, Graham Crowley into IMDb. Move the microphone over here, so we're not Maybe. breathing directly at each other. <laughs> pick one. Like, I assure you, yeah, it's, it's not one. real. Tell me when to stop. This is you're saying the last possibility? Tell me when to stop. Man, it's just the movies. Forget the movie. Okay, go stop. Oh, if only it were that simple. All right. Oh, that was the one. This guy's name is Stephen. What did I say? Stephen Shrewd. Stephen Shrewd. S H R O O D. Stephen. Stephen Shrewd. Shrewd. That that could be a really star name. Stephen Shrewd. Stephen Shrewd in Beyond All Measures. All right. It could also be a male dancer name. It's better, but he's not quite it. Nothing wrong with that. What did you say that the most recent title was? Lovers No More. That guy there. He's a lover no more? Well, he's a lover, but, and then broken from another, if you found a girl that was a lover, uh, that could really get people's heartstrings going, I think. That's just my opinion. It kind of looks, I feel like it. What physical quality like would he have had that right? would have been like, he looks like a lover no I more? Know. He's just talking about his face. <laughs> <laughs> that seems like an asshole. Sean, yeah. you want to shed some light on that? I know this is necessarily a judge. Okay, well, maybe a very washed up. Well, that's the like, whole well, point. There, there some beauty here. I'm trying to find the person that fits. Of course, I'm going to be judgmental. Be reasonable. Stay reasonable a little bit for me, please. God. Yeah, I think he well, is. This is clearly a waste of time. <laughs> Didn't find my Adam at all. <laughs> I don't even know why half these idiots applied to the job. Well, it's easy to look on it with a closed mind like that. Wow, it's such disdain for someone who's like just understand. trying to. <laughs> they just don't get it. Do my best. And they just understand it. What you think? So the game is done. Congrats, Alex. You ruined it. It was no fun. And I think. Um, here, maybe I should take over a little bit. Now, it's really not that fucking difficult to be the right one, you know? I know for one, you're making me uncomfortable. I, I hope you're not making our listeners uncomfortable. And I think there's really no one that can tell this story like the way that I can tell this story. And I figure if I'm going to be on set anyways. What are you talking about? Oh, you know what? Well. Acting is not that difficult. I'm gonna play Adam. <laughs> These applications—they were just a bunch of losers. They're pointless. Take your time with that. This is, you're not in a state to be making decisions right yet. So I'm gonna play Adam in my new film, um, Lovers No More. And yeah, I think that. This that'll... is sounding more and more like The Room. I I was just thinking that. <laughs> what? You sound like you're gonna make The Room. <laughs> room <laughs> that it's going to be that amazing i love that kyle the doesn't room. know what the room, the room is you know that movie what are you talking about here i'm going <laughs> to do the cinematic history segment week this week 
Yeah, okay. Whoop. The room was made a number of years ago. And 2003. It's got a, the, the, the one guy wrote, directed, and acted in it, but not really. Like, it's not real acting. All right, so we'll see you next time on so. Film with Kyle. Film with Kyle. It film didn't film. go that well. Let's leave we'll it see that. you next week on, on Films with Kyle. Have a good day. Have a good day. Has anyone ever signed up a podcast in such a contentious way before? <laughs> Not until now. <laughs> right. Oh, I love that. That's great. That, that is definitely my favorite of the episodes. That was very funny. Cool. All right, cool. So we'll get a little sign up for now, but we'll, you're going to want to try this again next week, get, the rest, get through the rest of it? Yeah, well... Um, sure. Yeah, next week we'll figure out a time that's good for okay. anyone who's watching. This will be uh, in about three weeks once episode, just before episode four goes up. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Alrighty. Thank you for joining cool. us. Thank yeah, thank you. Good to see you guys again. Great to see you all again, too. See you all next time. Peace. Bye. Bye.